Oh no. Look what I just woke up to. Let's start by getting some air in this thing. Those lug nuts are on so tight. One of the things I learned years and years and years ago is put the tires on the same way you're gonna have to take them off. If you're not gonna have a pneumatic wrench to take them off, don't put them on that way because a human being can't get those off. There's an old so-called trick where you can take the lug wrench and uh, put it on the lug nuts and then rest it on the ground and go backwards or forwards to tighten or loosen. Um, that works good in theory. I wouldn't do that on a bet. It's more likely to break, bend, strip that lug nut. You know, some of these things, they sound great where you use the leverage of the entire car. Yeah, something's gonna break. So anyway, I overinflated the tire. It's holding a little bit of air. Uh, so I overinflated it and I have about a, uh, I don't know, a few miles in order to get to a garage. So fingers are crossed. A Little bit of drizzle today, we can use it. And a beautiful double rainbow. One of the best things about Florida. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Got a little better view of it here. That's really pretty. But I can't gawk at the sky or all my air is gonna run out. And that is a completely full 100% rainbow. That is great. I hope that rainbow is telling me everything's going to be all right. Well, I made it. I'm always trying to promote and sell something at these places. Nice looking wheels though. So of course the tire is irreparable. So I'm going to have to get a new tire. They ordered one. They put my spare on. So at least I can drive this home, come back later in the day when they get the new tire in. They uh, have my wheels so they will hopefully they'll have it uh, all installed and all they'll have to do is uh, put it on my car. It should be in and out in a short order, I hope, when I come back today. So I was here, I don't know, 35, 40 minutes. For some reason, I don't know. I know front wheel drive, maybe they didn't want have, uh, to have the spare in the front wheel, but they, um, they put the spare on, but they moved the spare to the back. This uh, tire that was out is on the front left so they flip flop those tires i'm guessing it's because it is the um the drive tire one of the drive tires so i don't know i'm on the hook for 300 350 bucks to get a new tire now uh, it was a, a sidewall uh damage who knows what i hit <sighs> well we're not done yet well i can certainly feel and hear that that's not my normal tire uh, it's interesting how much of a difference that really makes, but I can tell that I that I have that spare on there. It's a full-size spare tire, but it just isn't the same tire. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon, and I just got word that my tire is in. So I can get rid of this. I just had to run back in the house because I forgot this. I saw a couple of coconuts fell down. I might have to get those later from up there. There's a lot of coconuts around here right now. Well, hopefully it's fixed. Time to head home. The car is driving a lot more smoothly. Obviously, I have a new tire on, but I wonder if the spare tire was put back. I'll have to check that when I get home. Well, let's see if I have a spare tire back in here. All right, there's a tire there. But you know what isn't here? No jack. Figure that one out. If I would have had a flat on one of those desolate roads out there in the Everglades, I would have been in real trouble. Who knows when I would have been found. So I better get myself a good jack, a good lug wrench, and maybe even some kind of a portable air compressor. Who knows? I hope you enjoyed the video, but please watch this one next, or I'm gonna go out and get lost in the Everglades.